With Jedi and Wookiees being two of the most popular things in Star Wars, it was inevitable that eventually we'd see those streams cross. In today's video, we're going to be talking about all the Wookiee Jedi who show up in Star Wars Legends and technically canon so far. Despite their aforementioned popularity, it is pretty rare to see Wookiee Jedi. This is because of a decision from George Lucas that was described in a web supplement to Star Wars Insider 79, a magazine. The web supplement, called Wookiees No Trivia Too Small, was behind a paywall and is unfortunately not available anymore so I can't access the direct wording. But essentially, George Lucas forbid there from being any more Force-sensitive Wookiees or Wookiee Jedi. This policy came after some had already been made, and he apparently did soften his position eventually, so we did manage to get a couple Wookiees through the Jedi training. The first Wookiee we get introduced to chronologically was technically a member of the Jedi Order, not the Jedi Order, a group of Force-sensitive warriors in the Tython system over 25,000 years before the Battle of Yavin. This Wookiee, Rur, was actually a member of the Master's Council at the time. Little is known about him directly, he only appears in the Dawn of the Jedi comics briefly, but he is part of a trend of Wookiee Jedi being very highly placed when we do see them, with three of the five we're talking about today being Jedi Master. That brings us to our second Wookiee Master, Tavaka. Like Rur, Tavaka sat on the High Council, though much closer to the time of the movies, serving until 44 BBY, about 22 years before the Clone War. Tavoka most notably took part in a conflict between the Republic and the Stark Commercial Combine, where his ability to sense the future led to him being a mediator along with Chancellor Valorum between the Combine and the Trade Federation. As the peace talks devolved into a fight, Tyvoka was killed and the Stark Hyperspace War began. Tyvoka's place on the Council was then taken up by his former apprentice, Plo Koon. The third Wookiee Jedi was yet another master, but this one served at the Almus Academy, a kind of Jedi subgroup that existed before Order 66, under the leadership of the main Order, but in some ways distinct. They had actually denied the call to serve in the Clone Wars, which I did another video on previously. The Wookiee Kirloka, introduced in the Living Force campaign in the Wizards of the Coast Star Wars tabletop RPG series, served as a lightsaber instructor at the Academy. Kirloko was present representing the Jedi Order aboard the Luxury, a ship where there was a conference discussing controversial Jedi Order practices around 21 BBY, or years before the Battle of Yavin. During that conference, a dark Jedi named Raik Mun released Sisalix, a Force-sensitive blob creature which attacked the attendees, and Kirloko was killed while fighting them off. Next up, we get Gunji a Jedi trainee who appears in the Clone Wars animated series. Now, Gunji is interesting for a few reasons. For one, he gets highlighted by the droid, Hu Yang, who helps the trainees build their lightsaber as being a rarity as a Wookiee Jedi. Since he appears in the cartoon, he's also the only Wookiee Jedi to appear in both Legends and the new canon, and currently is the only Wookiee Jedi I'm aware of in the new canon at all. He's especially interesting because he represents George softening on his no Wookiee Jedi rule since the Clone Wars animated movie and show were overseen by him. So it potentially means other Jedi could show up eventually, though of course George Lucas doesn't control the franchise anymore. After his success in a tradition known as The Gathering, where Jedi trainees went to find their lightsaber crystals, Yoda himself commended Gunji on his patience. I personally think it's not impossible he'll show up someday as an Order 66 survivor rather than having a new character be introduced because like I said, Wookiees and Jedi are both pretty popular, so having Wookiee Jedi is just something we can probably expect as a definite thing for the future. Finally, we get to probably the most famous, or at least most prominent, Expanded Universe Wookiee Jedi, introduced in the Young Jedi Knight series, and actually the first Wookiee to be a Jedi based on when they're introduced, if not in-universe chronologically. He's actually my favorite on this list as well. Lobaka. Lobaka was the nephew of Chewbacca and one of Luke's trainees at the Jedi Praxium, where he trained alongside Han and Leia's kids with whom he became fast friend. His computer skills brought him especially close to their daughter Jaina, who loved tinkering with things so the two enjoyed making and repairing plenty of gadgets together. Though we never see him on the Jedi Council, he did fight in the Yuuzhan Vong War, the Dark Nest Crisis, and many other subsequent battles and wars, proving himself to be one of the most skilled warriors the Order had, and living up to the reputation for loyalty to his friends that his Uncle Chewie killed during the opening phases of the Vong War had set. That's going to do it for today. Hope you've enjoyed this look at Wookiee Jedi. We never really get a Wookiee Sith, but based on certain rumors, Han Har from Knights of the Old Republic 2 came close to being a Wookiee Dark Jedi, had the rule about Wookiee Jedi not been in place at the time. We may never know for sure though. Either way, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments, and if you've enjoyed, please leave a like or subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time.